I wanted to talk about how a nurse who used to work in surgery uses a public bathroom. Before I talk about that, I saw another person today in the store cough like this in their hand. That's not the way. For years, the health departments have been telling the public to cough like this. <coughs> so it goes in the, the clothing on your elbow, not in your hand, because your hand is going to touch everything. And even hepatitis B can live for seven days on a dry surface. Okay, so I try to pick the stores with the best ladies room and I take a paper towel I open the door and then I look for some kind of surface where I could empty my pockets on and I use a paper towel to clean that surface so then I take off my rings and I take off my my bangles Then I start emptying my pockets. So there's the phone, there's the house keys. What else? Oh, there's the, uh, the receipts, the wallet, the truck key, and the list, usually I have a list. Then I have to roll up the sleeves because I don't want them to get in the way or touch anything dirty. And if there's sleeves that won't stay up, then I bring these, these hair ties to keep the sleeves up like this. Then there's the cuffs of my pants. I've seen ladies in the ladies room sit on the toilet, you know, you could see their feet under the stall, and their, their pants are down, and the cuffs of their pants are touching the floor, the floor where, where all kinds of things spill, body fluids. So anyway, I roll up my pants up, so they won't touch the floor. Did I forget anything? Oh, you know in Jerusalem in the bathrooms, they have uh, they have some something that people could pour water over their body parts after they use the toilet, so that they won't have anything unclean on their skin. Sometimes it's just a little tiny pitcher. And that's a wonderful thing. So I use a squirt bottle at home, but when I'm out, I'll take a paper towel or tissue and wet it in the faucet and then use that uh, to clean my skin because I do not want to walk around with urine or anything else on my skin. Anyway, so you see when I use a public bathroom, it's quite a production and it takes time. All right, and this thing, since I wear long, big shirts, I bring a, um, a clothespin with me. So, here there's an undershirt under there. So, if I am using the toilet, this long, big shirt is going to get in the way of me doing what I need to do. So, I take it up like this, take my clothespin, and know hook it up somehow so it's not in my way now see it's possible to be clean even in a public bathroom also let me remind you do not sit on the toilet unless you're going to clean it with soap and water first and then dry it which is fine but if you don't need to sit on it you could just squat don't do any twerking while you're squatting. I think that's it.